This one grabbed a gator with its razor-sharp teeth. Lacking venom, it had to use muscle power to kill its victim. New research has shown that as a snake's coils tighten, they cause a sharp rise in the prey's blood pressure. So the alligator is as likely to have died from burst blood vessels as from suffocation. Snake skin is so flexible, it can be stretched around the largest of meals without tearing, even a tough armored alligator. In a matter of days, powerful stomach acid will completely dissolve the meal. This is an incredible feat. The python has swallowed an alligator half as large as itself. But something just as remarkable is about to happen inside the snake. How does it cope with this massive meal? To learn how that happens, and more about snake physiology, scientists employ some high-tech procedures. In captivity, rats, not alligators, are on the menu. Oh. All right, he's got it now. Stephen Secor is a professor and team leader at the University of Alabama. He wants to understand how snakes can stomach their prey. What an amazing animal the python is. I mean, consider, here's an animal that can go a month, even a year, without eating, and then able to capture ingest, and digest a meal that's equal to half its own body size. An X-ray will probe the snake's secrets. All right, let's get him stretched out. Okay, get him in the center. Yeah, get relaxed. Okay, you're ready. Good. Yeah. Yesterday, this snake ate a massive meal. The rat consumed weighed more than a third of the snake's own body mass. We're now X-raying the snake so that we can track the breakdown of the prey, the rat, within the snake's stomach. Relax a little bit. You ready? All right. Oops, oops, wait. Okay, go. Okay. Yep. Okay. Great. What we see here is the rat inside the python stomach that we just x-rayed. We have the full rat skull, the upper jaw, lower jaw, and all the bones are still intact. So this is the snake's stomach. It only encompasses this part of the rat. So this part gets broken down first, and the rest of the rat, which right now is in the esophagus, will then move forward and move into the stomach and then be broken down by the hydrochloric acid and the enzyme pepsidy. Within six days, what's going to be amazing is this rat will be completely gone. This is an x-ray of an alligator consumed by a python. Now we know in the Everglades that the pythons are eating alligators, and they can do so quite efficiently. Within one day, we start seeing a little bit of breakdown occurring in the snout of the alligator. By two days, half the skull is missing, parts of the forelimb have already been broken down. At three days, only a small part of the skull is remaining. At four days after feeding, pretty much all we have is parts of the hind limbs and a little bit of the alligator's tail. By five days, just a scattering of small bones, and at six days, it's all gone. Everything has been broken down and passed in the small intestine. These snakes have a tremendous capacity to break down any prey item within their stomach. They are extremely efficient hunters and digesters.